How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. The Christmas and New Year holidays are over and we have received a community update from Playground Games, basically telling us what to expect within the next month or so when it comes to updates and fixes in Forza Horizon 5. We're going to read through that community update in this video and we're going to have a look at what exactly they are focusing on fixing and then a bit of information about the next upcoming update and just what to expect this month really. If this video does help you out guys please do consider subscribing to the channel we do stuff like this all the time and it helps out massively let's get into it. Now just like we do in every video like this if any of you are having any issues with the game or if you're having no issues whatsoever comment down below what your experience is currently like. If you're having loads of issues with this, that or the other, if you're having no issues whatsoever, if you're on PC, Xbox, just let us know in the comment section below what kind of experience you're having at the moment after the uh, the recent Series 3 update. It's interesting to have a discussion in the comment section below and seeing, you know, what current state the game is for everyone. I personally, I'm not having any issues whatsoever, but nevertheless, we've got a community update where they talk about all of the new fixes that are coming. Let's have a read to what they have to say. Now, they basically say that the teams are back in the office. They've begun working on more game fixes and improving the overall experience. So we can probably expect some kind of hot fix update within the next few weeks or a lot of fixes to come with the update 4, which is also in a few weeks as well. But we've got a few bullet points here of what Playground Games are specifically trying to work on fixing. So if you've got any issues with the game, hopefully they are within this bunch. So let's have a read. Accolades. They know that players are still having issues with some accolades not unlocking and resetting. And they also know that some of the accolade descriptions are a bit misleading and don't always make sense. They are continuing to work on updating the accolades and they have said that some of more of these will be fixed in the next update. Now there are a lot of broken accolades so they're going to have to do this piece by piece. They can't just fix all of them at once but if you're having any issues with accolades they're being fixed. Event Lab. Now Event Lab is having a lot of issues specifically with checkpoints being glitchy and people you know losing their entire progress on a created race and the fact that you can't save and edit um, event lab creations you have to do it all in one go well they've said that based on the feedback that we've given them their top priority is to introduce the ability to save and edit event lab content post creation they are they're obviously working on this and they're hoping to release it in an upcoming update whether we'll get this in update 4 or in a later update update 5 we're not sure we are due update 4 in a few weeks we'll have to wait and see festival playlist we know the festival playlist has been an area of concern for some horizon 5 players they're basically saying that they are trying to fix how the occasional festival playlist challenge just isn't completable. You cannot complete it. They're trying to fix that. And they've also said that the ones that didn't work in the past in Series 1 and Series 2, they are looking for a solution to sort of apply the points for them if we did complete them, but it didn't work. So in general, they're working on the festival playlist and they're trying to get it so all the points work up perfectly and any past points that we've missed out on are going to count. You can see it on screen. They also says that they know about the issue where the festival playlist entire series points doesn't quite add up correctly. This is because when you do a Horizon tour, it gives you the points for every single week rather than just the week you're on. To, you know, you get the general basis of it. Wheels, they're investigating a bunch of issues and fixes that need to be done for using the wheel on Forza Horizon 5, specifically on PC. This is crashes and just overall things that need fixing. They are specifically working on wheel support. Now around the same topic, they're also trying to work on why the handbrake for certain users don't consistently work. Leaderboards. Now we've known since release that the leaderboards have just been scattered with ridiculously unrealistic times that are just so unfair and modded and cheated and whatever. Obviously they are still working on keeping these up to date and keeping these legitimate, removing all of the nonsense times from the top. This is something they're working on. They don't expect this to be a quick fix but over time hopefully it'll get much more better and the leaderboards will be a bit more legitimate. Now at the end of the community update they do say that there are many more issues alongside these and our feedback is vital in tracking down these issues and fixing them so if you do have any issues whatsoever um, let them know you know even if they're already aware of it just let them know and they'll see which ones are higher priority and which ones aren't just make your voice heard. Now, the list for current issues in Forza Horizon 5 is quite big. As you can see on screen, there are quite a lot of issues in the game currently. Now, quite a few of these are what they are currently working on, as we've just spoken about. 
but this list is basically every issue down to the details of what the issue is. On this same list though, it does actually show all of the issues they have fixed. And in all fairness, they have fixed quite a few, but there's obviously quite a few left as well. Now on this list, I want to talk about this. There is actually a short list of issues with the game that are actually not going to be fixed by purpose. This is because, I don't know, it's not fixable or it's because it's actually meant to be like that. So I'm going to read out a bunch of issues right now. So if any of the things I'm about to say you are having issues with and you want fixed, it seems like they're not going to be fixed or they're by design. The achievement Ride and Seek unlocks early before you discover all of the roads. This is by design. I don't think anyone's going to really care about this, but you're at, you actually unlock the achievement sooner than you're supposed to. This is by design. The You're the Champion Horizon Open Accolade may unlock after losing a seasonal Playground Games event. Apparently this is by design and they're not going to fix it. Again, no one's really going to complain about that. Car Mastery skill points are not refunded for sold cars in the auction house. This isn't going to be fixed, it's supposed to be like that. You're not supposed to be refunded. Now this is a weird one. The 1998 Toyota Supra is missing a gear shift animation. This is apparently by design or won't be fixed. Very strange, doesn't really bother me to be honest, but that's what they say on here. Convertible feature does not work in free roam for some cars such as the Honda S2000, the Mazda MX-5, the Mazda MX-5 again, the older one, and the Mercedes-Benz SLK 55 AMG. Apparently this is by design or won't fix or can't be fixed. Again, I'm quite confused as to why this is on the list, but from what it sounds like, this isn't this isn't a priority at the moment to fix those convertibles, which is a bit of a shame. The daily challenges in the festival playlist, the descriptions show imperial measurement, such as miles, despite the player having selected metric in their settings. Daily challenges won't update regardless of what setting you have, so loyalty rewards. You are not going to get loyalty rewards for playing old Forza titles if you play them for the first time after Horizon 5 releases. Settings. Non-standard aspect ratios do not have their native resolution set by default. Again, this isn't an issue, it's meant to be like that. There's one here that was specifically about Series 1, but Series 1's months ago, so that one doesn't matter. xCloud. The majority of game settings, including controller layouts, are not retained when playing on different platforms. This is meant to be, it either can't be fixed or it's meant to be. Hopefully not many of you are having issues with that. And the last one, user has to terminate and relaunch the title to apply an installed language pack. So if you've installed a language pack, you have to reboot your game for it to work. You know, that's just how it has to be. Other than all of them, every single issue that Horizon 5 has is something that's going to be fixed. As you saw, you saw the huge list of them which they are currently working on. How long it's going to take them to get through all of them, I don't know, but they are working on it. So we can hopefully expect an update quite soon, maybe a hot fix, just focusing specifically on fixing the issues with the game. At worst case, we'll have a load of fixes included in update four or series four, which starts on the 3rd of February, I think. We do have no extra news on what is going to be in update four. As you know, I did a video a couple of days ago about, you know, there's some kind of Horizon World Cup happening. So if that sounds intriguing to you, check out my video. It will be in the description. Some kind of World Cup competition next month in the update. We'll find out more then. But yeah, as I said, if you're having any issues, let me know in the comment section below what your experience is with Forza Horizon 5. I am intrigued to know. But anyway, guys, that's everything we have at the moment. What to expect within the next couple of weeks for Forza Horizon 5. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content. And I'll see you all later.